How to use Scenario Manager for What If Analysis in Excel? Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this intermediate Excel tutorial, we are going to talk about how you can use the Scenario Manager for your What If Analysis. Let's get started. In previous tutorial, we talked about the, the Goalseek tool and the Solver Addings. Those are also tools for what if analysis. And in this tutorial, we are going to talk about the Scenario Manager. Okay. Now, here is a situation. We have two stock here, stock A and stock B. And we have buy price for both stock in different dates or different times. Okay. Now, and we have our total units. Now, we have our calculation that I have already prepared. We have our total price, we have our buy commission, and we have our final price. Now, here is our sell unique price, and these we input manually. And if we input a value here, it will change the total sell price, commission, total price, and it will consider if we got a profit or loss. Okay, let's see what happens if we change the sell price of stock A. And you can see our formulas are changing okay as we only have these two cells for input we are going to select this now click on the data tab and click on this drop down what if analysis and then click on scenario manager okay now click on add so our first scenario is our target sell price okay so let's write that We're going to change these two cells and I don't want to create any comments here and click OK and here it will ask for the value so these two are my target sell price for stock A I want to sell at $15 for stock B I want to sell at $20 okay and these are imaginary data don't take it so seriously okay now if i click ok that is our target price now i need to consider the best case scenario okay now click on add and here i'm going to write best case if i click ok and here the best case for the first stock which is stock a is 20 dollar and the stock b is for $25. This is the best I can get. Okay. If I click OK and I have added that. And now let's add the worst case. And if I click OK and you can see the worst case I can get is $6.50 and here $8.70. If I click OK. So these three are our scenario manager best to worst and our target price okay now if i click on the worst case and click show and you can see these two cells are populated based on the value we provided earlier so if our worst case scenario happens we will have to endure this much of loss so we, if we get to sell the stock at our target price if i click on show we will get this much of profit and if we get the best case scenario and if i click here show this is the profit we are talking about now here we have a summary option if i click here and it will ask for the result cell and we have our result cell j3 it's automatically added here if in your case it doesn't add select the result cell and then click ok we have a new sheet created automatically here we have our current values then we have our target price we have our best case and worst case and we have a summary of what could happen okay now based on this information i can easily consider the risk i am taking or if i have different scenario manager at my disposal i can uh, even consider the opportunity cost okay so this is how you can use the scenario manager and you can get a summary of it or you can easily change the value you don't have to change any value manually so i have only two cells that needs input if you have 
30 or 50 cells that you need input you can easily use scenario manager and if you click on here and click on scenario manager and select the best case worst case or whatever situation you added you can click on show and everything will be placed you don't have to input anything else and also in added feature you can get a summary which is also grouped so if you click on this minus and you can group and ungroup these values you can hide and you can show values so this is an excellent way for what if analysis and this is what i wanted to show you thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial if you can support the channel through patreon and don't forget to subscribe if you like this tutorial there is a new feature which is super thanks you can try that out thank you thanks for watching